So something you were talking about on Twitter the other day was using 4K monitors as desktop monitors. Um, you know, it, it's funny that now that there's 60 hertz, 60 hertz 4K monitors, uh, HCTVs are easy to find. That eliminates one of the earlier problems we had with them, which was, was that, A, you just can't, you just don't want to deal with 4K at 30 hertz. Uh, having DisplayPort or HDMI 2 that'll actually feed your 4K monitor at, at, uh, uh, at 60 hertz is a big deal. Um, at what point, you know, it seems to me 43 inches is probably as big as I want to get with a 4K monitor on my desktop. Otherwise, you kind of end up with that stadium view. <laughs> the the tennis match that. effect. I don't um, want to sit too far away from a computer monitor either. Right. Uh, to make it appropriate, I, I, I'd like to be up close, but at the same mm -hmm. point, I do like really good pixel density. So if I do get up close to a, an image I'm looking at or something, I'm not I'm not noticing pixels on the screen. Right. But there, there's technically no reason why you can't use any HDTV as a computer monitor, especially right. when you're talking like the 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 1080p models and above, uh, as far as resolution goes. You, you well, generally will be able. To, oh, go ahead. I was going to say a 1080p, like a 55 inch 1080p HD TV, unless it's eight or nine feet from away from you or on the other side of a room, like 55 inches is going to be too big for a typical desktop. Um, okay. Unless you don't literally mind like reading across the monitor like this, which I don't think works for most people. <laughs> or, or if it's, you know, it's your computer in the living room kind of scenario where it's like you're right. actually doing computing while you're sitting in the couch at, with a, at normal viewing distances for a TV that size. Right. But otherwise, I always find, though, if you're going to connect your computer to your, a TV like that, that's where those that, those pic, uh, picture presets like movie mode in particular come in handy because it immediately knocks out a lot of the sharpness uh, and other other enhancements that can really make computer graphics and text on screen look funny. Uh, I mm -hmm. find that even a little bit of sharpness on any computer display really can ruin the image, specifically for text. Uh, right. It can put a little halo around things and... If you're messing with that, always try the presets first. And if you're if you're still seeing oddities around characters and 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 lines on the screen, there's like a a bright or a dark edge to things where you don't think mm -hmm. it should be. Grab that sharpness setting and just crank it all the way down and get rid of it. But otherwise, uh, you know what? There's no I can't think of a good reason not to try it. And in some cases too, uh, I, if you have a really high performance system, there there are a few of the 4K TVs. I want to say Vizio's does this, but at at 1080p, you can take it up to 120 hertz of mm -hmm. input, and uh, not every TV will do that. But if you're, if you're looking to experiment with a with a high frame rate LCD, that might be one thing to consider as well. But for me, I have standard computer monitors in front of me, um, more than one, just to make mm -hmm. you know for, for my productivity sake. But uh, right. otherwise, I do want a bigger screen though for my for my workstation, without a doubt. <laughs>